Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And uh, I wanted to uh, just chime in, do a quick land back or response uh, to this topic of, um, you know, Jake, you know, boasting in the law and saying that they can keep the laws perfectly, you know, which is a slap in Yahawashai's face. Because if you were able to keep the laws perfectly, why are you even mentioning Yahawashai? All right. You wouldn't need his sacrifice. All right. And um, overall, you know, as, uh, you know, the elder Manat Zakba, you know, uh, did the video and uh, the brother from uh, Vegas, Karat he did a video and a few other brothers, you know, responded. They made all of the points that needed to be made. You know, um, I just want to focus it on it uh, from this standpoint, you know, because when we, when you read the law, you know, in this flesh, you're condemned. The law condemns us. All right. If you're being honest about it. When you when you read those laws, all right, you you should be cut, all right, and understand the 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 the, uh, the need of Yahawashai, all right. When you read those laws, living in uh, this flesh, first of all, all right, but then in this world filled with sin, all right, there are particular laws that you cannot execute, all right, because the laws are judgments, all right, or or or, or a way to walk. All right. And that requires to, to keep it perfectly. It requires, first of all, new flesh, because within this sinful flesh, we can't be perfect in the law. All right. It's, it's written in our members. Paul himself tells you, OK, uh, he serves the law with the inward man. All right. But in the flesh. All right. He does that, which is against the law. All right. And we all have that fight within uh, uh, this system, you know being raised a particular way and then waking up to our true heritage all right well uh, we want to be judged by our intent all right is your intent to sin is your uh, 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 energy to ultimately uh, you know execute these acts and be this way or are you fighting and when Yahweh Shai re uh, returns he says shall he find faith on the earth man we keep the laws out of pure faith Okay, understand that we can't fill that void, but there are things we can do. All right, uh, the things you eat, okay, uh, uh, your sexual behavior, those are things you can control. Okay, you can keep the holy days to the best of your ability, although there's no way we can fully keep particular holy days, like the Passover. All right, in order to keep the Passover perfectly, that requires us to be sovereign. And that's what I wanted to bring up. All right. The only way to keep the, the laws perfectly requires new flesh. And even above that, let's say you did have the new flesh and you were perfect in the law. All right. Right now. All right. Uh, uh, executing the judgment of the laws and keeping the laws perfect. You'll be put in jail. All right. Yeah. Because we need to be sovereign. We don't need any other government. OK. Uh, uh, any other say so. Any other input outside of the law statutes and commandments being established and that's what's going to happen when Yahweh Shah returns because right now okay when you see sodomites you can't judge them okay why because all things are lawful but not all things are expedient so right there cuts you you're not keeping the law perfectly because you're not going out and doing what the law says to do with those people okay why can't you do that because First of all, you don't have the power. Second of all, we're not sovereign, meaning our laws are not the law of the earth. OK, the, the laws of the heathen are implemented in the earth, in particular Esau, Edom. OK, so if you go out into the earth trying to live and fulfill all of the laws just because the scriptures say it. OK, then what would you do? You destroy yourself. OK, you 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 uh, you you can't you don't have the power to say every Sabbath. OK, whether you follow it by the new moon or by Friday sundown, the Saturday sundown, which that's not the Sabbath. OK, the Sabbath is based upon the new moon. But anyway, um, you you don't have the power to say, well, uh, we're going to make uh, 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 like like uh, uh, Biden yesterday. He, he made Juneteenth. Uh, national holiday you don't have the power to go and say well the sabbath we're going to declare this a day that no one can work 
Now, according to the law, if you don't keep the Sabbath holy, you're you're cut off from being, uh, you know, you're cut off from amongst your people. All right. So what do you need? You need you need uh, uh, grace and you need mercy. That's what you need, because you can't keep the laws perfectly in Babylon. The great. This is the uh, definition of sovereign. All right. We talk about sovereignty. Now, when was the last time the Israelites were sovereign? I would love to hear all right, particular guys answer. All right. Because a lot of you guys just. You know, you, you wake up, all right, you see the apostles and elders, and a lot of you uh, uh, who come against us, you even use, uh, 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 you'll say, uh, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahashai Bashim Rechakwadash. Now, that was an order from Apostle Tahar to say Rechakwadash. No other camp says that. But here it is, you're scoffing against us, but you're following the whole platform. Then you'll say double honors to the 24 elders or double honors to the to the to, to the elders taking the whole platform but then going so, up some other way but that's just the the uh the what you warned us about you're gonna have particular men come amongst the church okay uh uh, uh take the doctrine and then try to go uh go go up some other way and act like they came up with it on their own and their whole uh uh uh, uh their whole mo is to come up against those men all right but Hey, that's just what it is, man. Uh, Jew uh, put us in remembrance for that purpose, just so we can know. Oh, there, there that nigga go. He's back. Okay. Now, sovereignty means supreme power or authority. Okay. Right now, the nation of Israel doesn't have supreme power or authority. The last time we had supreme power or authority was Solomon's uh, uh, kingdom. All right, which was the throne of David, forwarded in the earth for forty years. Okay. At that point. If we were ruling, if we had that right now, we would be able to go out and execute the judgments of the law. All right. And no one would have any other say so. Now, when you get the book of Micah, it says it's going to come to pass that in the latter days, the Lord is going to establish a government. OK, that's going to stand uh, 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 and, and, and be in top of all of the different mountains and because mountains represents the governments in the scriptures. All right, the mountain of the Lord, all right, which is Jerusalem, where the temple uh, 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 dwelt, okay? And what was the purpose of the temple? The law would go forth from there. That's where the priest, all right, communed, you know, with uh, the Most High through the mercy seat, <laughs> okay? Through the mercy seat, all right? Here it is, even the high priest under that first covenant needed uh, uh, um, the day of atonement to be forgiven for their sins, but you are in America, okay? <laughs> You're in America, okay, through, okay, in need of mercy, but you could keep the law perfectly. Peter himself told us, okay, that that was a void that neither they or their fathers could fulfill. And Peter was the head of the circumcision. You cannot keep the laws perfectly. You just want to argue. You are just a nigga sitting back. Now, if you're sincere, it is what it is. You, know, you just repent. But most of most likely you're a guy sitting back watching you learn and then you come to points where I don't agree with that. Then you start murmuring with your cat member and this they wrong on that. They wrong. They ain't got it. Da, 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 da. Then you become the two niggas with the uh, 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 with the with the uh, uh, the end all be all of what's right and wrong. All right. And we've seen this many times, man. OK, we've seen this many times, so it doesn't bother us. All right. But we have to defend the gospel, man, because. You'll destroy yourself trying to be perfect in the law. The law condemns us. When you read the law, statutes, and commandments, you should be cut to the heart, crying for a uh, 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 mercy. The book of Psalms, okay, I believe one thirty and three, it says, "Lord, if you were to mark iniquities, who would stand? M maybe you two would stand. It'd be the rest. Everybody in the, all Israel be dead. Then you two, all right, well, uh, Judah and Ephraim going to repopulate everything. All of the Israelites." No. All right. If, if no, none of us would stand if the measure of how we would be delivered was according to that first covenant. And it's very high minded and proud to believe and even speak and utter that you can fulfill that. OK, because if you could fulfill that, <laughs> then why are you here? Why are you preaching? The scriptures say when you're able to do that, you're not going to have to teach Israel no more again, man. So really, it's just vainglory and it's just something you've been wanting to argue about. And then you try, you guys try to come around, talk about brother, when really 
All you do is sit on the sideline and, 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 and talk shit, man. But at the end of the day, if you're sincere, okay, and you're just having one of your moments because it happens, just repent and do the work, man. You young brothers who coming in, even if you're older, you're young. All right? I am, brothers been doing this work for, for hey, our elders and apostles 30 plus years. Okay, uh, 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 you know, us brothers, you know, the 30, 20, 15 you know, us brothers entered into their labors through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimel Shai. We've seen this before. Don't don't destroy yourself trying to be over righteous, man. But keep the laws that you can. You have control over particular things, but there's particular things you don't have control over, man. So you keep the laws to the best of your ability with the intent, all right, with the fervency and the inward man to do what's right. Walk in the spirit so that you don't fulfill the deeds of the flesh. That is love. Okay, and love is the keeping of his commandments. Okay, now when we're sovereign, there, <laughs> there, there will be no uh, 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 if, ands, or buts about the judgments of Yahweh Bashim Shai when they're issued forth in the earth because we'll be the authority of state to govern itself or another state. So we'll be able to govern over other people, okay, through the law, statutes, and commandments being implemented out of Jerusalem. That's what the promised land is for, so that we can go back to the land, okay, and New Jerusalem be set up there, okay, and 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 and, and judgment is going to go forth out in the earth, man. It says a self-governing state, okay, supreme power or authority, all right, it says, how can we hope to wrest sovereignty away from the oligarchy, okay, and back to the people, all right? So sovereignty, okay, as you can read here, is supreme power. We hadn't had that since Solomon, okay? So the next time that it's promised that we'll have that is under Yahawashai, okay? When we enter into that new covenant and the laws are uh, 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 put in our inward part, okay? Then we will be programmed from that point, okay, to be uh, perfect, okay? And no other government will be standing at that point. Every government is going to be conquered. Okay, so we will be the supreme authority. That is the only way to keep the law perfectly. You cannot keep the law perfectly with another government, okay, having a say-so or running things. Okay, and you all know you can't keep the laws perfectly, but a lot of you just need a moment. Okay, a lot of you just want to talk. A lot of you like to hear yourselves talk. And some of you, you're just down, downright crazy. A lot of you niggas are crazy, man. Crazy as cat shit, man. But at the end of the day, you know, the work, the work got to be done, man. You know, you know, we keep the law. We establish the law. We don't give Israel no license to sin. All right. You should not live a sinful lifestyle. But understanding what we're up against and in, in, in the reality of the situation, there is no way we can be perfect in the law within this flesh, within this system of Babylon the Great. OK, you uh, your woman. Uh, uh, is on a cycle now one brother may have the ability to not be around his woman for the full seven days right when she's on a cycle but the average brother who lives with his woman what are you going to do because if you sit on the sofa that she sat on you're unclean and she you know she's unclean the couch is unclean and you are unclean all right uh, for a particular time right so what is that brother going to do every week get a hotel for seven days straight, just get in a hotel, go stay with... No, man, you're not going to be able to do it. Now, some brother somewhere may galactically be able to be in a situation to where he lives with a woman, but he doesn't have to be... But that's not going to be everybody's situation, man. And ultimately, as the scriptures say, all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. Okay? Not all things are expedient. Not all things edify to try to establish that are lawful within this this system of Babylon the Great, man. Wake the hell up. Stop being simple, man. Shalom.